Hi Virgo, I am the Awakened Dreamer and I'm here to give you a monthly tarot reading for your money and career situation for the month of November 2020. And I do want to of course take this moment to thank all of my new and returning subscribers. Welcome everybody. And if you haven't yet, please do make sure to hit that subscribe button for me. And I more than appreciate all of your likes, shares, and comments, so head on down below and do just that. And while you are down there, you will see all the information you need to book a personal reading with myself. So go ahead and shoot me an email and I will get that started for you. More importantly, I meditated on your overall energy for the month. And the message that came through was wishing for more. Wishing for more, my friend. So let's get started by pulling a message or two from the Soul's Journey deck. What do we have for Virgo to begin this money and career read for November? Thank you, Spirit, for our lovely Virgos. I have to say, I love doing your readings, regardless of the time period or the topic, because you guys are just so calm. I appreciate your energy. What else do we have for Virgo to get this started? All right, we got four. Ooh. First and foremost, friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. I feel like a friend or just a soul connection in general, this month in November will play a significant role in regards to your career or your finances. They may help you out or be a connection to an opportunity. You may receive a lending, uh, a helping hand as far as your finances go. If you're in a bit of a tight spot, but it just feels like a friend will come into play and help you out in some way, shape or form and almost remind you, it feels like a reminder from the universe as to why they were put in your life to begin with, why you met them to begin with. Forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. There's somebody or a group of people that you still need to forgive, Virgo. And I feel like it has to do with a past job or a past financial situation that wasn't ideal, that was connected with somebody. But what, why this is coming through is because you need to forgive this person or this group of people or the situation for yourself, not for them. Do it for yourself so you can take that weight off your shoulders. Uh, let, you know, almost begin the healing process so that you can focus on your work and your career and moving forward your finances with a fresher outlook. Because without, even if you don't realize it in the moment, this lack of forgiveness or this burden you're holding on to, these unhealed wounds, in some way, shape or form will leak into, uh, it kind of spreads into your work in some way, shape or form. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to put these over here. We'll do that in a second. And then we have trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. I feel like on one level, this is talking about you needing to trust the universe, trust the process, try not to control every detail. But then on the, on the other uh, end of this message, I feel like it's reminding you to trust yourself, trust your instincts, allow yourself to... When you feel one way, shape, or form, and that gut feeling pops up in regards to your job or your career, your business, when it pops up in regards to your financial situation, trust it. We forget a lot of the times that our spirit guides are coming through and plopping that feeling into our gut. They're igniting our intuition so we can move towards something for the to better our life or to, it's kind of a red flag to warn us to keep us away from something that may uh, derail us from our, our destiny or just, you know, not benefit our situation. It's going to be a month where you need to trust, my friend. And then we have success. Ooh, I know that there is no greater goal than to love. I feel like it's a month where you're going to start to fall back in love with what you're working towards or, you know, fall back in love with yourself as you do work towards something you're passionate about or goals that you're passionate about 
And I mean, just the fact that a success, the success card came out in your money and career reading for the month, amazing. There's success for you on the horizon, my friend, even if it feels like it hasn't been the case for you recently. So mentally prepare for that, okay? And take any sort of negativity you've had in regards to your money and career, throw it out the window. There's success on the horizon. Let's continue. I want to pull six tarot cards. A simple six card spread, if you will. Some shuffling, of course. One more shuffle. It does feel like you are, you want more. Like the overall message says, you, you're wishing for more. It feels like you want more money. You want more success. You want more acknowledgement, more attention. It, it just feels like everything in regards to your money and career, you could have more in your own head. And it's coming. Alrighty, Spirit, what do we have for Virgo to continue this money and career read? Thank you, Spirit. For November, of course. For our lovely and calm Virgos. Not surprised. Keep them coming. They're saying just pull the last three. Interesting. Feels like a month of changes, my friend. Ooh, the wheels at the bottom of the deck. The wheel is going to start turning for you, my friend, even if it hasn't felt like it, like I've been saying. Your luck is changing. Your success is changing. Or at the very least, will start to begin. Absolutely beautiful. We're going to keep that out. Just because. All right, my friend. So first card, the High Priestess to begin the six cards. I mean, this is speaking all about trusting yourself and your intuition. It, It's almost like the month begins and you immediately are in need of this reminder of this message from the universe, from spirit, that you are truly intuitive and that you have all the answers within. And it's like, oh, it's side by side with the friendship card. I feel like you need to use your intuition when it comes to this friendship or when it comes to certain soul connections in your life. I feel like you're getting in touch with more of who you are or who you are becoming these days and it's helping you realize what you want out of your career situation. And I feel like you start off the month feeling very peaceful, not surprised. It just feels like you are in this spot where you don't you almost are all set with any other sort of energies around you. You're just in your own kind of inner peace bubble and staying focused on working towards whatever it has, whatever you've been working towards, whether it's a business, a project, a job, getting a promotion, just, you know, working on your day-to-day -day job. But because it's side by side with the friendship card, I feel like you need to step out of that bubble a little bit, maybe in the beginning of the month to ask for help from a soul connection or to allow for this friendship or soul connection to be involved in the situation however they should be. The Nine of Swords to move right along for the second card. It feels like you may allow yourself or allow other people to kind of make their way into your personal bubble but I feel like you're just feeling, a, I, I do feel you are a bit burnt out, at least mentally. Feels like you've been through a lot recently. Maybe a lot of changes within your career. Maybe a lot of financial stress on your shoulders that I feel you may be putting on your own shoulders. Ooh, for some people, you need to forgive somebody so that they can help you or so that you can feel like less of a wounded warrior. And again, this wounded kind of warrior way of being or feeling is temporary. It may feel like it's kind of come and gone recently, but again, your luck is changing. You're going from this wounded warrior to 
this wheel turning to feeling like things just happen a bit smoother, smoother. Like you don't have to force it or fight for it as hard. And trust me, it has an amazing feeling when it starts to, to happen in your life, to come over you. Just keep that in mind when this um, Nine of Wands feeling does pop up in the beginning of the month or in the first half at the very least. To move right along to the Star card for the third card, I feel like this is the point in the month where, you know, the first half starts to wrap up and you're put in a spot where you don't really have much of a choice. You need to do some healing. You need to heal some of those wounds, maybe forgive some of those people we've been talking about or situations. And even if you don't do it in person, even if you don't actually contact this person or group of people to forgive them, it's about doing that within. It's about allowing for yourself to let it go. Maybe write it on paper and get rid of it in some way, shape, or form. Like let it out into the universe and just be like, good riddance, I forgive you. And again, for you. And you're gonna feel so much lighter, less like a wounded warrior. And it'll be so much easier to just, with a fresh mind, focus on your work. Focus on getting your finances uh, fixed or in a better situation if that is your case. And by doing so, you're allowing for new blessings and opportunities to flow your way. And I feel like that's when you're going to start to see this wheel pop into place. More so in the second half because, because you have to do some of this realization and inner work to uh, begin the month. It's good though, it's all necessary. Just keep that in mind as well because healing and, and these, this inner growth and, and whatnot is not always simple and it may not always feel easy but it is healthy two of swords to move right along to the fourth card starting off the second half of the month you may feel like you don't have all the answers as to where you're heading or what you want to achieve in life it may feel like you're just kind of blindly going after something Your spirit guides have your back, my friend. If some of you feel like you're working towards something that you uh, trusted spirit and uh, the universe as far as going after it without all the answers, you know, just kind of full force, like the fool card falling into it, it's going to work out. There is going to be success. I feel like you doubt that at times. And it's like when it comes to situations in the month of November, especially in the second half, when you feel like you don't have all the answers, when you feel like you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel or you can't see your financial situation improving or getting that ideal job or your business getting off the ground or whatever the case is for you, trust, my friend. We had that trust card in the beginning. Trust in yourself, trust in your intuition. It's aligned with this high priestess. Trust in the process. Trust that it will all fall into place smoothly. As long as you're passionate about what you're doing and as long as you feel good about it and you're plugging away towards it with an optimistic mindset, then you're manifesting it, my friend. The universe and spirit will work some of those details out in the background to help everything sort of fall into place. Just feels like a, a time where the universe might come in and remind you a little bit here or there of the fact that you are doing the right thing or the fact that everything will work out. We all need that reminder occasionally, right? Nobody's perfect. And then the judgment card for the fifth card. I'm almost surprised it wasn't aligned with the high priestess, but this is coming through as you getting more in touch with your higher self, more in touch with who you are and what you want out of life. You know, maybe you rewrite some of your goals, adjust them, tweak them. Maybe you uh, rediscover what your passions are in life. And then you take a step back almost like the hangman and you're like, you know what? This job is just isn't doing it for me anymore. I'm not passionate about it. Maybe some of you work a nine to five job that just drains you. Been there, done that. And if you feel like making that change, then go for it. And it's aligned with the nine of swords. So I feel like you feeling burnt out, whatever is causing that in regards to your money and career, it's like, damn, I got to change it. You kind of get into this mindset where you're like, I'm peaceful still. I'm, I'm at ease still for some reason. 
but I know I need to do something about this. I can't just sit back and expect it to change. I need to take action. You know, I need to co-create and manifest side by side with spirit. And by getting more in touch with the higher self and what you want in life, that's the first step in, to moving in that direction. And you fully realize that at this point in the month. And it's interesting because when we move along to the Eight of Cups, all about walking away from what no longer works for you, my friend. If it's that job that is draining you and just making you feel like you can't improve your finances, then, then I feel like the end of the month is going to be you walking away. For some of you, this is simply you just deciding, you know what, this financial discomfort I've been dealing with, this financial stress that's been on my shoulders, I'm walking away. Excuse any of the rain in the background, it's raining today. Just, you know, wanted to get this reading out for you. And it feels like all of which leads up to at the end of the month being like, you know what, I'm going to do what's right for me. It feels like sometimes you think about other people too much. You don't put yourself first. And I do see that changing at least by the end of the month. And as you can see with this card, she's walking towards the sun. You're walking towards a brighter future, my friend. You're walking towards happiness and passion. Don't question it. It feels like a necessary change to align with the star card. And it's almost like you had to go through that healing. You had to go through this personal inner work and growth in realizing what's right for you in order. And then the next step was to, okay, I had that realization. I'm going to walk away from what isn't working for me anymore. I'm going to stand up for what I believe in, what I want in life. And I'm going to pursue my passions. Because when you pursue your passions, my friend in life, that's when all your success and financial comfort just easily follows and it's almost like wait so why wasn't it working so well before so easily because you weren't following your passion that's why and sometimes it's almost like the universe and spirit preventing that from happening because they try to make us a little just uncomfortable at times to kind of light a fire under our ass to get us to move into the right direction into the right position you know what i'm saying the right career let's continue this is a good reading my friend let's continue by pulling a message or two from the energy oracle deck what do we have for Virgo to continue this money and career read for November, please? Thank you, Spirit. I feel like December is going to be an even more amazing month for you. I can't wait to do that reading for you. Take me a month where you'll want to be a Virgo. <laughs> what else do we have? I think we have another message or two. Okay, we got three. Ooh, cornucopia at the bottom of the deck, my friend all about abundance and being surprised by the universe with little bits and pieces of your own uh abundance and forget don't remember um and don't forget that's not just money it comes in so many different forms people places situations opportunities and of course finances all of which is coming towards you i'm gonna put that out Feel like you're going to be feeling better about your situation by the end of the month first up we have first up we have contract some of you are going to be signing that contract that you've been desiring Others of you will simply, this is coming through as small bits of business, more business than you've been, or clientele that, than you've been receiving for your personal business if you're an entrepreneur. Others of you, this is coming through as a job offer, accepting a job that is meant for you, that makes you happy and fulfilled and passionate. Absolutely beautiful. Anxiety, my friend. I feel like... I didn't want to show this, but at the bottom of the deck before, there's the Page of Wands, which I call the Anxious card. And I feel like you're getting anxious at times this month because you don't have all the answers, because you're feeling wounded, because you, some of this inner work doesn't feel and this healing doesn't feel absolutely beautiful in the moment. I mean, everyone's been there. But it, again, it's a month for you to realize that everything is happening for a reason. It's building up for the success, for this bright future, for you to walk towards the sun, the light, the passion, all of that good stuff. 
the financial comfort. So don't let it get to you. We're going to kind of hide that card a bit. Let's uh, finish off by pulling a message or two from the Making Magic deck. What do we have for Virgo to wrap up this money and career read? Thank you, Spirit. For our lovely Virgos. Thank you, Spirit. Let's wrap this up with a bow. We got two. Beautiful. Oh, guys, wow. Successful career. A happy working environment. Pay rises or raises and promotions. Whatever you're working towards, whatever you begin to work towards as far as your career goes is going to be successful. This card doesn't come out in a money and career read for no reason. You need to realize how successful you're going to be. And remember, that's going to be full of financial comfort and uh, success and abundance of all forms, fulfillment. Yes, I'm so happy for you. We're going to put that right with the cornucopia. And to finish us off on the most wonderful note, my friends, wishes come true. Rapid achievement of your dreams and wishes. I mean, with the overall message of wishing for more, boom, wrapping this up, putting cherry on the Sunday, if you will. All your dreams and wishes are going to come true. So stop doubting it. I'm getting goosebumps. Stop uh, believing in the worst outcomes and allow yourself to realize that your wishes will come true. So pay attention to your thoughts this month and when it comes to your money and career as you will manifest all your wishes and dreams, my friend. Absolutely beautiful. So on that note, if you haven't yet, please do subscribe to my wonderful channel and head on down below and do like this video and leave me a comment. I want to hear all about your situation. And while you're down there, don't forget to send me an email about booking a personal reading. And I hope you have the most amazing month and I'll see you next time. Bye Virgo.